Hello, this short video is to show you how to use the uh, total row to create the total row and how to use it when you have a table. I'm really going to move towards how you can use any Excel function within that table total row. So let's say we have some data here. This is data, the top 25 uh, NBA players. And I've created a table for it by, of course, putting my cursor in there and uh, selecting this table. And then table tools design has come up. And I've got header row, band row, uh, first column. Notice how the first column highlights and they get uh, bold. But I want to click on total row. By clicking total row, it creates this row at the bottom that can be used to total things. So if I click on here for minutes, notice how the, this uh, box turns up and a little down arrow. Click on the down arrow, and I can put in average, and it gives me the average number of minutes for each player. And I can switch it to count and there's the 25 players that counts out for me average the maximum number which is 57446 which is Kareem I can also the minimum, right? But here's something else that you can do that I want to show. Well, let's do another one here. Also, this would change before I do another one. This total number would change if I go into the table and let's say for points. I'm going to filter them and I only want I only want to show the people who is greater than uh, let's say 30,000 click OK and there's only six players who had more than 30,000 points but then now look at the total it uh, if we go minimum against the minimum of this range so it just knocked out we're looking at those top five okay let's go back to 25 now what we can also do is down now and go to where it says more functions and now these are recent functions I have, but I'm going to go to all. Now I can look at anything. So let's go to count if. Remember, we used that in the other homework. So we'll say count if. We'll count if. range and then let's make sure I get that range in there alright with your points yeah and then criteria remember the quotations we used when last uh, assignment we talked about count if we had to um, put them in quotations. Let's say the criteria is thirty-five thousand points. We're gonna say it's greater than click OK and notice how 
notice we all now have a number two. So there's only two at that point. There it is. There's your count if. We counted if. Go back to it. There it is. Uh, 35,000 points. And there were only two people there. Which is why that number is two. Now I got it in the wrong place. But that will give you an idea. Let's do it correct this time. Let's go here. More functions. Count if. The range. We we'll use this points. Open quotations greater than how about thirty thousand. Click OK. There's five of them. And there they are. One, two, three, four, five. So we can go in and when we're using more functions, we have access in this total row. To use all the different functions. And le and create them here at this bottom row, which is relates to total. Alright, it's just another quick way of using the functions. If the, the previous homework assignment we had uh, functions, but was that homework number two, where we dealt with formulas and functions. But here's you can also use functions inside of tables. All right, it's a short little video. Thank you.